Sakai Five Big Ideas, Group Aware. This is the fifth in our series. There are Group Aware tools. When we talk about groups, we often use sections or groups interchangeably. Both have awareness. Sections come from the registrar generally, and groups are manually created. Let's look at multiple sections, in particular Spanish 105. This is the Sections tool. When this tool is enabled, you'll see a screen that looks like this. Information in sections is automatically fed from data that comes from the registrar. Note that across all of these sections, there's a consistency of content for all of the students. If we go to Add a Calendar Event, we'll see a screen that looks like this. The default is Display to Site. However, once you click Display to Selected Groups, you'll see all of your sections displayed, and you can release this calendar event to one or more of these sections at a time. Now let's look at Groups. Groups are manually created, and you create them in Site Info, Manage Groups. You'll create a new group. When you create a new group, you can give it a title and description, and then you'll see all of your site members listed on the left. You'll simply highlight and click the arrow to move them over to a group member list. For example, when we do the Big Ideas sessions, I want to release that recording just to the 10 who attended the session. And therefore, I create a group for each, and then I release the webinar recording to that group. I do that through Edit Details, and just as with sections, it says, display this file to selected groups. I can pick the group I want to release the file to. Whether it's groups or sections doesn't matter. Any group or section will display for me. Let's revisit this important group awareness concept. Sections tend to be created by the registrar. In order to use sections, you need the sections tool, and a participant or student can only be in one section. They are mutually exclusive. Groups, however, are manually created. You go to Site Info and select Manage Groups. Note that participants or students can be in multiple groups simultaneously. Therefore, in a given site, sections and groups can coexist. You may be teaching three sections of Biology 101, and within a section there may be groups working on group projects. These are the Group Aware tools in Sakai. Group awareness allows for a consistency of content across multiple sections or groups. It's an easy way for an instructor or site organizer to manage multiple groups. And it allows a streamlined interface for all users. This concludes our fifth big idea, Group Aware. Subscribe to our blog at blog.sakai.unc.edu. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other Sakai tutorials online.